couple safety precautions. Make sure you wear uh, safety goggles. Avoid overpressuring the bottle. Do not pump the bottle up more the fizz keeper more than 100 times. When releasing the pressure, unscrew the fizz keeper slowly from the bottle and never aim the fizz keeper at another person. And use the fizz keeper with do not use the fizz keeper with a glass bottle. For today's experiment, we need a bottle, a straw, and a balloon, and a fizz keeper. All right, so uh, we want to blow up the balloon inside the bottle. So when you try that without the straw, it gets blocked because it seals off the end, and there's air in there, so you can't push any more air in. So if you use the straw and you put it in this way and then blow it up and then you can pull out the straw and then you can blow up the balloon inside right and then we're going to do is tie a knot in it if I could tie a knot and push it down actually there it goes All right, so now we got the balloon tied in the bottle, and uh, I'm gonna take your safety glasses, put them on. You never wanna pump the fist keeper over 100 times because the pressure in the bottle uh, could explode the bottle, so you wanna keep it under there. We'll do about 70. Make sure you put it on secure, tight to the bottle, and then we're gonna observe the balloon uh, when we start uh, pumping up the bottle. So the science behind this is this experiment is a perfect illustration of Boyle's Law, which states that as the pressure on the gas increases, the volume decreases. As the bottle is filled with more air, more molecules collide with inside the balls of the balloon, causing the balloon to shrink. That's 50 right there, and you can see it's starting to get smaller as we're pressing more air in. The balloon in the air is getting smaller. That's not leaving, the, it's just compressing it. As for the expansion in volume, when the fizz keeper is released, Boyle's Law also states that as the pressure exerted on the gas decreases, the volume increases. So as the compressed air within the bottle escapes, the pressure in the balloon decreases. It causes the balloon to expand to its original volume. Notice that the balloon does not expand indefinitely. However, since atmospheric pressure is still being exerted on the balloon at the pressure of about 14.7 pounds per square inch PSI. So the volume of the balloon will be kept in check. 75. You can see it's a lot smaller. So now when we open the fist keeper, it gets bigger. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or to share if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.